Hello. I think the other one was yours as well. Um, what you've got to do on this one is, uh, again, do oxidation numbers. So I answered the other one for you. I think that one, hopefully you got that one. Um, we're going to look at the oxidation numbers. Hydrogen has a plus one. Oxygen has a minus two, but there's three of them. So that's minus six. Minus six plus one is negative five. Since this is a neutral atom, right, this is going to be a plus five. Okay. Um, sulfur has a minus two. And then hydrogen here has a plus one. And there's two of those. Okay. Same thing here. This is a minus two. Therefore, this is a plus two. This sulfur is a zero charge. This is a plus one times two, the hydrogen. And then this one is a minus two. So basically, they all have net charges of zero. And that's how I got these numbers. So you're just adding them up so the net charge is zero. So one plus five minus six is going to give us a zero net charge. And that's what uh, this nitric acid has is a zero net charge. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, products and reactions into half reactions, right? So you see this HNO3, I'm going to match it up with this NO. So I got HNO3, and I'm going to match it up with the NO. And I'm leaving a space just so in case I need to add anything. Okay, so again, plus one, plus five, um, minus two times three, okay? This here is a minus two, and this here is a plus two, okay? Uh, to go from a plus five to a plus two, I need to add three electrons, okay? I'm going to do the same thing with the H2S now. I got H2S, and I go to sulfur, okay? Remember, this is a plus one. This here is a minus two. Now this goes to a zero charge, right? So to go to a zero charge, I'm going to have to add two electrons, meaning those two electrons escape, right? And that's how I get the zero charge. So this minus two with two electrons escaping, give this sulfur a zero charge. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cancel out the electrons. So I'm gonna multiply the bottom equation by three and the top equation by two. I'm just canceling out the electrons here. Okay, so the electrons are going to cancel out, okay? But this three is still going to transfer here and here. And this two is still going to transfer here and here. And then, of course, two times three is six, and three times two is six. That's how the electrons transfer. Okay, I'm going to put it all together. I got two HNO3. Oops. plus three H2S, whatever's on the left side, I'm gonna yields two NO, um, plus three S. Okay, I'm still not completely balanced yet. Um, I've got to balance these uh, hydrogens, right? And this oxygen, right? So you see here, I've got six oxygens here, right? Um, and here I've got two oxygens. So six minus two is four. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and put a four H2O. So I balance the oxygens with the water, right? So that's gonna give us uh, uh, four oxygens on this side, uh, plus two oxygens, which gives us six oxygens on this side. Now I'm gonna look at the hydrogens and see if they're balanced, they should be. I've got eight hydrogens here. I've got two plus six. I've got eight hydrogens there and I am balanced. And that is your answer and we should be good. Um, if you need any other questions, um, send me a message on Wiseant or send up uh, another uh, uh, tutoring, uh, send a, another ask, the, uh, ask an expert request. Um, but that should be it. And uh, if you need any tutoring, um, contact me anytime. Thank you so much.